How's it going, guys? Welcome to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. I have never played this game before. Just like the Ace Attorney games, they, it was a game that I always thought looked interesting and wanted to try, but I just never got around to it. But now that I've been doing these LPs, um, like Phoenix Wright, I've decided to go ahead and uh, try this one too, because this is from the same creator, or at least he heavily worked on this. So uh, I don't really know anything about it other than what the back cover of the box said. But it should be interesting, I hope. We're gonna give it a shot. I've never seen a thing from this game at all. 7.02 p.m. Must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy. Kinda like I'm swimming through darkness. Hello. When I came to, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least I don't think I know her. What is that? And then there was a man with a gun. That's a gun? I don't know him either. Well, probably not anyway. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot. But I have just one little problem. Oh, shit. I'm already dead myself. Ass in the position, ready to receive. This has got to be me. No question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies lying around here? I don't. Good point. So the game starts off with me dead. So long, sister. I feel bad for her, sure, but what do I do? I'm dead. Just as I was thinking this. I was thinking, how am I thinking? I'm dead. This is no time to be lolling around dead. You're the only one who can save her. Oh shit, what's going on here? Am I gonna need a stylus for this? I better get mine. I gotta I don't have one for this 3DS, so I'll have to take my three my 3DS XL stylus. Just in case I need it. What the the whole world just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost world, land of the dead. Who's talking? God? A voice in my head. Who are you? Satan? Maybe? No time for introductions now. You have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. How come you didn't let somebody a ghost save me? Huh? Me? Save her? Uh, how? Take a look at your corpse. Morbid. Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. A core, huh? Just looks like a railway crossing gate to me. What? Look, the best way to understand, I guess that's what is back in the background that we can't really make out. First of all, try touching your soul. Okay. Uh, with your fingers still on it, slide your soul across to connect it with the core. Will do. Alright, yeah, that's what it is. It's a railway crossing thing over there. <laughs> Congratulations. Your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. Are we gonna whack him with it? So I can just possess things? That's kind of cool. So what, now I'm a crossing gate? Is this how reincarnation works? Now then, use the crossing gate to save the woman. What? But how? In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? I should give this omnipotent being a different voice. So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Uh, great. Now then, time will start to flow again. What? 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 Uh, trick? Trick him? I got him. Oh, nice. Okay. Whoa! All right, man. Get 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 the bike. This guy is kind of terrible that he doesn't just shoot. Well played. Who said that? Uh, what just happened? That was one of your powers at work. A ghost trick. You mean I made that crossing gate move? That's right, you manipulated that object with a power of the dead, a ghost trick. And all you have to do is perform a trick like that is touch the trick button. Now the woman's fate has changed, albeit just a little. Yeah, she still kind of has a gun pointed at her. Yeah, sir, that's not good, is it? Why is she so important that we had to save her? At least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. So I enter the ghost world with ghost, possess an object, and then perform a trick with it, eh? Will do. Now you're getting it, let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different core. Okay. 
I, I thought the bike would probably be a good idea just because it was uh, it was right there, but I can't drag that far. So we're just gonna possess this thing, the guitar. What do you want from me? I would have preferred that giant wrecking ball. Oh, is that what that is? Well, I can't see what it is when we're in fucking Red World. I don't know if I could even reach it. I went to the outer area, but I couldn't get to the inner part of it. So I, I could touch the wrecking ball itself, but not the core. Okay, let's use a guitar. Let's set time in motion again and find out. Trick! Trick him dead! Oh, okay, got a distraction, nice. I wonder what... You can do a large variety of things with this kind of mechanic. I wonder how uh, how far they're gonna take it. That's gotta be some of the slowest running away I've ever seen. Run, Yoko, you gotta get out of here. Looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. The bike! Uh, okay. Let's see, what core is close enough to possess from here? I guess all there is is me. Can I do that? No time to be picky, I've got a woman to save. I like your attitude, it's admirable, truly, but... But what? If I can manipulate objects, then I ought to be able to ma manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, tell you what, why don't you just try it and see? A girl's life is at stake, why don't you not... tug my dick around, all, all whatever. Why don't you... I'll be like, oh, just try it and see what happens. If it's not gonna work and she's gonna die, just tell me. Go ahead and possess your corpse. Alright, now we'll set time in motion. Alright, try it. Oh boy, nothing happened. Thanks for that, man. Thanks, uh... I'll, I'll have to give him a name. Franklin? Thanks, Franklin. Exactly. Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. The body's not living. <laughs> Although I suppose if I manipulate it, it then would be. And that's not allowed. Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. Sure they are. Once you're dead, you're fucking worthless. Your body is just whatever. Doesn't matter. You've got to be kidding. Wrong voice. Are we seriously doing that? I'm seven minutes into episode one. There have been two characters speaking, and I've already messed up a voice. Wait, what about the woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you looked at, want to take a look around, you can slide the screen. Slide the screen? It's easy. Here, give it a try. Yeah, it turns out when you become a ghost, you also get the powers of a Nintendo 3DS. This way. You, oh, okay, like that. I see. Hit. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Oh, shit. Oh, dude. He took her out. Whoa! Well, she can be my ghost friend. Pull that lever. Out of my way. Whoa! Well, I can answer the phone. Maybe. He'll probably take care of that. Take your time, man. It's fine. How many times can that thing ring? <laughs> Alright. It's done. I'm on my way. Oh, I just look like I'm chilling. Thanks for your service. Mr. Very Tall Smurf. In the end, it looks like our fate remains unchanged. So what good are those ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this... Is she actually alive? What? 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 Oh, is she a ghost too? Is she possessing that? Hello there. How are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy would happen tonight. Ah, uh, ignoring me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. Ah, oh, so it was you. You were the voice in my head, right? Oh, that's... He, Franklin is lamp. Well, I wouldn't say voice exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. There's another little trick ghosts can do. Looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. She still ended up just as dead as before. That's true. For now. For now? 
I still have more to teach you about the powers of the dead, your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you, anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. How? Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying here like a discarded piece of trash? Yeah, if she was ugly, we wouldn't care. But what can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your powers. Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her. I guess I'll take the desk lamp up on his invitation anyway. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave women lying around discarded like trash. And number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. Trick time, baby. All right. Uh, yeah, let's... What do I touch? I touch... That? Okay. That thought bubble you just touched. Those are your thoughts. Do the right voice. Those are your thoughts. What you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, eh? This is Canadian. <laughs> the dead don't have voices. And what we think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bubbles are sort of stand-in. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so, too. Just remember to always, always keep an eye out for those thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. I just might get some important clues from them. Now then, in order to possess me, you first have to enter the ghost world. And the ghost button is your ticket in. The best thing to do is to try it. Ghost button. Guess I'll give it a little touch. Boom. Ghost. And I guess, uh, can I reach him? No, I'm out I'm out of range, man. Come closer. But can I can I maneuver over to him? I can go uh, on a, along a labyrinth. Yeah, it shows what I'm possessing. It tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. Oh, I can unfold it. Okay. The information is there for you to check out whenever you need it. So if I unfold it, will that make it go closer to you and let me reach you? Form a trick on the object you're possessing. You first have to return to the land of the living. Oh, okay. Sweet. It's pretty cool. Uh, cool mechanic. Cool concept for a game. It's neat. Yeah, look at that. Then I'll go ghost. Like Danny Phantom. And I'll possess lamp. Oh, that's funny. What is? Her soul is all, uh, all aglow. Maybe it's because she's not dead. There's definitely something different about the two. There's something emanating from my corpse. It's just, that's just your stench. You stink. Look at your hair. You think that shit's been washed? You're special. I would imagine you would have to wash that constantly to get it to stick up like that. What's that supposed to mean? Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway. Congratulations, you passed. Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power? What else? Another one? Now, let's review. You can possess objects and manipulate them, right? Now, what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? We already did that. You remember? Nothing happened? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember, and nothing happened at all. True, you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. But can I restart its heart? Is that not manipulating it? There is something else you can do. Oh yeah, what's that? Why don't you try it and see? All I know is I get to be inside this lady's body. Well, I, I guess that's really uh, as good enough for me. Here you go. Uh, what's this? Can you hear me? I can communicate with her. Maybe. Hey, wait a minute, what's going on here? Hmm, looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious, but she's dead. Yes, but think back, remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you'd been unconscious too. Unconscious, eh? Come to think of it, the desk lamp is right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. So, but by resting you mean dead. Oh sure, you make it sound so easy. And it is easy! When you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past to a time four minutes before that person's death. 
I can't do that to myself, though? Are you serious? Back through time? That's right, but there's a catch. It only works on new corpses. Corpses that have been dead for less than one day. And she's still well within that limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. But this is crazy. None of it makes any sense. We're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. Alright. Now then, let's go, shall we? To the time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Alright, Franklin. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Do it. Rewind time. This is wacky. I'm already glad I'm playing this. I'm very curious where the hell it's going to go. So now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as a fuzzy distant memory of the past, but as a very real living present. I have no idea how long this game is. Zone D Waste Center. Oh, whoa. She was taking... Ah, oh, she wasn't taking my shit. She was checking to see if I was alive. Wake up, are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead. Uh, well, if this guy killed me, where did he then go? Here's my business card right here, sister, my little golden friend. You did this, you killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. And here we are again. Who are you, some sort of a hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to rub out all the last traces of Temsic left in this country. I'm sorry? Why do I feel like that spells something if you, you rearrange the letters? Time... Sk... Temsic? What in the world is that? Beats me, I just do what I'm told. All I know is you've got nowhere else to run to. Time to die, sister. Oh, look at the position. I'm gonna come in like a wrecking ball. I'm sorry. I truly apologize and really... Ugh... Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> as long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right up there where it belongs. Look, all I want is... Who are you? All I want to know is who are you. You don't know me, and I don't know you. It's just business. Fuck him up! We're gonna crush him. We're gonna crush him dead. Oh, okay, well, there's that again. No, is he still under the wrecking ball? Okay, well, there, there's that again. When do I get to go change things? A shotgun? Kind of a flashy weapon for Hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just thorough. They call me Nearsighted Jigo. But I never let my prey get away. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. So that's why he said that about his eyesight. So when do I get to fucking... Was I supposed to do something there? Or I just watched the same thing play out again, but with more dialogue. I guess not. No. It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate and a man toyed with by a ghost. I don't think... I, I don't think I agree. I don't think you're reaching, you're reaching there. She still died. Yes, and you can change that with your ghost tricks. Just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate a eh? ghost and then trick. And you can rewind these four minutes as many times as you like, too. Now then, are you ready? I'm recording this in October, so it's the perfect time for ghosts. It's great, but this is not going to be uploaded till November, so oops. I need to start watching some Halloween movies, get myself in the spirit. I also need to get some candy corn, because I am the only person on the planet who likes candy corn. In fact, I love it. Well, what am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. Her corpse was your gateway into the past, after all. So naturally, your starting point is where her corpse was. And this is where she died. Okay, I get it now. Hop in, then. Alright, we're gonna trick everybody. We're gonna move all the way along here. Oh, and we do have a, an hourglass timer majig. There are only four minutes left before she dies. You'd better try and get to her as fast as you can. I hate time limits. They stress me out. There's no time to lose. It's happening! I, I know! The last seconds of her life are counting down! Looks like I better get up there fast. 
Probably gonna make this opening episode a little long just to get all this intro stuff out of the way. That's right, have a look at the top screen. The top screen, eh? Sound on the top of that timer is how much time she has left. I, I had gotten to that conclusion by, by myself, thank you. Get to her quickly before all the sand is gone. Up you go then. Okay, here I go. I'm, I'm moving up. Moving up through the world. Back. Trick. Stand it up. I can't trick that? Okay, I didn't actually look at what the trick would do. There isn't one. Roll, I can roll that tire. Trick it. Yeah! Alright, I like this. This is neat. It's pretty cool. Back. Trick! Alright. I just wonder, like, how many things I can do with this. Is it just going to be the same thing every time I do it? Yep, all them Temsix. Thermal? Let's not even... <laughs> T Timid elephants might scare ice koalas. Okay. Anyway, a uh, ghost! I can't. I have to close it again. Then I can ghost. To the blender. To over here. To the fan. And we'll blow... Maybe it'll blow that flag. Yeah, right? Is it doing anything? Okay, yeah. Alright, good. Very good. But then I can't get back over there. Where do I go from here? Ah, what was me? Uh, how do I... Uh... Maybe I do need to do something with the blender. There had to be a reason other than just to get me over here that it rolled out. No. No. I need to make the fan blow. But then when... Oh, wait. Okay, it does go further up. I just didn't let it go all the way up. It didn't seem like it was going. Darn. If I'd hop into the flag, it would have taken me up. Timing is important, too, when it comes to ghost tricks. Is that a fact? You can touch the ghost and trick buttons anytime you want. Just keep an eye out for the ghost button, even when you're manipulating. So I can press whatever button is being displayed on screen at any time, eh? So once you get the blender and fan going at the same time... Oh, because it was... I did need the blender, that's why. I needed the blender. Would the blender really blow that much air, that much pressure out? So that's what it was. I did need to turn on the blender and the fan at the same time. Okay. You ought to be able to move to the flag, then. You just have to find the right timing! Will do, sir. Well, thank you for just bringing it back down. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead. Is the blender still on? It doesn't really seem to be. I also feel like I'm running out of time really quickly. Way more quickly than I thought I would. Trick it! Get over there. Get over that fan. Does it? It doesn't keep... Okay, it doesn't keep blowing when I'm ghosting. Now I can ghost. No, it's not. It's too far away. Shit, man. I had to do it earlier. I can't get out of it either. I have to wait for the whole thing to... Crap. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, it's not running out as fast as I thought it was. Blender keeps... The blender keeps turning off. At least it looks like it is. Trick... Maybe it only stays on for a limited time. So I guess I have to, as soon as I turn on the fan, I have to then move into the flag. But would it, will it stay going? Okay, it does. I wasn't sure. Thought I might have had to stay in it to keep it going, but that's clearly not the case, because it's not the case with the blender. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning how it works. And now I made it up to the top. I still feel like i got to use that bike. Maybe I'll just hop into it. I won't really use it. This is pretty cool. It's a good way. Of, they're, uh, they're teaching you everything pretty well. I'm enjoying it all. Yeah, let's ride a bike. Ghost bike. Alright, now we're moving here. Guitar. Now's your chance to change your fate. There isn't much time left. This is coming down to a battle of seconds. I wanted to crush him with the wrecking ball. Oh god. Uh. Pedal, I guess. Pedal into him. No, that didn't work. Ring. 
Ring! For the love of God, we've only got seconds. Yeah, alright, that distracted him. Damn it, what's going on here? Nearsighted Jigo never misses, as long as the target is within point-blank range. Well, you didn't miss. You got that bite good. Now I can pedal. Look at that shit. Perfectly lined up. That doesn't really make any sense, but I'll take it. Looks like you made it in time, just barely. Yep, she's still alive. And in that split second, Hope was born. Oh, what, at which hospital? Wait, who, who, who's Hope? Do I know her parents? Just now, her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. Alright, do we get some sand back in that hourglass? What the hell kind of run was that? I was just in the middle of falling the whole time. You gotta be kidding me! The bridge is up! I don't know if I should make this one long video. We'll see. We'll see what happens. How much longer this goes on for. Let's get over there! Ah, uh, crap! Get into the... Get over there. I can extend that thing out. It's because I put it up. And I can move along. Oh, I might move me over there. Uh, there's nothing I can do with the streetlight, though. What is it? There's nothing I can do with the streetlight. So, I can't move to that thing. I guess I have to go back. Crap. Got a little too eager. Before I do that, I guess I have to hit this. I was thinking about that, but then I saw the ladder. I was like, that's probably important, but we'll do this first. Okay, we are gonna crush him. We're gonna take him out. Probably could have crushed him with the other thing, but this is this is funnier. He's like, what? Oh god! You hear something? Uh... Yeah, luck is on your side tonight, lady, whoever you are. I'll save ya! She's probably watching all that happen, and she's just like, what the fuck? Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and murder him. Let's, let's do it. Die. Oh my god! I, I definitely just, wow, I actually did it. He, he's dead. He's just gone, <laughs> completely. Oh my, <laughs> okay. It rolled just right past her, and he's, uh, he's flattened. We got him. He's the guy that killed me. I guess I got my revenge. How does it feel to save a lady's life? So the danger is gone? Yes, it looks like the danger. Mr. Danger, in fact. I am the danger. Rolled away somewhere. You used your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did. And I knew you could do it. You murdered a man. Fate averted. So I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's life and ended somebody else's. Don't tell me that guy's alive. Don't even try to tell me that shit. If I got shot and died, you don't survive getting crushed by a wrecking ball. When I came back to the present, it was raining. I'd saved the life of this stranger now sitting for forlornly in the rain. Even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end, Okay. A stranger. That word strikes a chord, and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? And most important of all... Why was I killed?